today it's Ms. Candy Blog, where candy's always in vogue, and so that you stay in the know, go ahead and click the little button and subscribe. So last week I did not do one of these videos because it was the pulse shooting, and I didn't think it appropriate to shoot a video on that day, or that whole week for that matter, which is why this video is late, in case you care, okay? But since you probably didn't get to watch RuPaul's Drag Race revealed last week, I thought I would shoot this video for you. Yes! So, RuPaul revealed last week was a bitch perfect. Bitch perfect, copying, pitch perfect, the movie. Okay, now this week we learned a number of things about how they shoot the show and then a number of topics came up about our favorite gal, Acid Betty. I don't know. Is she your favorite gal? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to see. Mm, yes. So when the show starts out, they always have them filing in the workroom. And that usually happens around 8 o'clock at night. I found that interesting. That's a long day of shooting. And to start or to, to have those shots at 8 o'clock at night, I wonder when they cut. That's interesting to me. Is it of interest to you? I don't know. The other uh, shooting interesting moment was that this week they worked with Jamal Sims, the choreographer, and each team had 30 minutes with Jamal Sims. Now, I don't know if you know about musical theater and working with choreography. I have a background in theater. I actually have two degrees in theater. But working on choreography by yourself and then with a group of other people, 30 minutes, that is not a lot of time. So that spoke volumes to me. The other thing that was of interest to me was that they get three hours to get ready for the main stay challenge. So I'm wondering how much of that when they're actually shooting is them putting together the look or finishing up the costume, if that's just them doing the makeup at that point. Questions I have, can I get a day on the set of RuPaul's Drag Race? World of Wonder, maybe, no, who, mm -hmm. let me know. Curious, I'll shoot a video about it if I get to. So that was what I learned about the show this week. And then again, we see comments about Layla. Um, the, the comment was, Layla felt that her biggest threat was Acid Betty, that she would take her lunch money. She also came up in this episode in that she, they felt that she was weak in the first episode, so in this, the queens in, on her team were saying that Layla should be like the little sister to Derek and copy everything that Derek did or said. And I just, I, I'm sorry, I'm a feeler. I'm a feeler. I felt bad for Layla. So, let me know what you thought about that. Then we learn some about our girl, Acid Betty. Acid Betty and Thorgy met at a dance-off at a club 10 years ago. Now, somebody said on this episode, I don't know if it's Thorgy talking about Acid Betty or Acid Betty talking about herself, but the quote is that Acid Betty is an a-hole and she knows it. Okay. Um, and then Thorgy said that people are going to be shamed and put down by Acid Betty. I could see that not being something to look forward to if you knew Acid Betty walking into the season. Unfortunate. Not a pleasant work environment. The other thing we learned about Acid Betty is that Acid Betty has a BFA in theater and dance, and she and Jamal Sims have worked in the same studios with a resume of Pippin, Dangerous Liaisons and La Caja Foe. Hey, if you don't know these shows, uh, La Caja Foe and Pippin, you should definitely check them out. Do your research, learn about these shows. They're important to know in pop culture. They're important to know in gay culture. So check that out, please. This is also the episode that at the end of the episode, there was a double elimination. To I Will Survive, another important piece of pop culture and gay culture. So please check out I Will Survive by Ms. Gloria Gaynor. And Rue said that when Diana Ross recorded um, I Will Survive, that she called upon RuPaul to sing and it was a dream come true. So I'm glad he got that dream. 
Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hey, is this working out for you? Let me know, okay? I just wanted to try this out, so I thought I'd give it a whirl, like a whirly pop, because I, I am a candy blogger, for those of you who don't know. Um, somebody wrote me and said, oh my God, you're really a candy blogger. Yeah, I'm a candy blogger, where candy's always in the know, where candy's always in vogue. So subscribe here for all things candy and RuPaul. Candy kisses, I'll talk to you soon. Stay sweet. Bye.